What's up YouTube, Derby Door Welder coming at you with another video. So everybody's been asking for videos about how to set up spool gun controllers and wire feeders to engine drive welding machines. So I just happened to buy this new to me Miller WC3 weld controller and a Miller, oh dang it, what's it called? Mill, Miller Spoolmatic, there we go, Miller Spoolmatic 2 spool gun. So, what I'm going to show you is how to properly hook this type of device, and this also goes to suitcases as well, how to hook them up to engine drive machines. We're going to use something simple. We're going with the SA200. And now it's not always the same, but this is dedicated to spool guns. And another video, I will show how to hook up suitcases. But you can pretty much get the idea how to hook up a suitcase from this too. There's just fine. It's a 110 cord. So here we go. This is my... 1973 Lincoln SA200 red face. I believe it's a red face. I think somebody put a red face panel on it, so I'm not entirely sure. We're, we're just going to go by the year and call it that, right? Because once they get this old, only God knows. This is a Miller WC3 weld control box. And over here, it's our spool gun. Our Spoolmatic 2. How this works. This is specifically designed for machines like the SA200 that are constant current and have 110 volts DC. It says in the manual it will work 110 volts AC or DC. So on the front of this there is a 110 cord. This goes for the um, WC-115A as well. So this is just the older version of the WC-115A. We hook in our 110 cable right there. And this is what powers our spool gun. This is not a welding machine. This is just a controller. The, the 110 power just runs the drive rollers and the spool gun and the contactor in here. Then we hook up our weld power cable to here on the positive lead. Now I am going to put quick connects on this eventually, but for right now I'm just hooking it straight in the machine like so. So we are on positive side because you know spool gun uses DC positive, not AC, right? DC positive. Then, since we are on constant current, we need a voltage sensor. That's what this little cable's for. This goes out here and connects to our ground so it can feel the voltage and adjust the wire feed. If you have constant voltage, you don't need a voltage sensor set up. But this is set up for machines like the SA200 that are meant for constant current or stick welding mode. So this little thing right here goes to a little thing in there, to a little board. There's a little board in there that basically allows it to mimic constant voltage or a MIG welding setup, even though that is only meant for stick welding. And then we also hook up our gas, 100% pure argon. And there is a solenoid in here. It's either in here or in the gun. I can't remember what this setup uses. There's a solenoid somewhere for the gas that when you pull the trigger, it sends gas, you let go, it stops sending gas, right? So we're gonna try it out. I have actually not welded with this thing on the SA200. So we're gonna see how bad or how good it does. Power's on. Let's see here if we hear anything. I don't know if you can hear it. Hang on. But it is spinning. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna put some 5356 wire. This usually has less feeding problems. And I'm gonna set it for roughly about 200 amps on the SA200. And the cool thing about this gun is it's a wire feed adjuster right here on the gun so we can adjust our wire speed on the fly. Here 
There's your little drive roll tensioner right there. That's pretty neat, huh? I gotta turn the amperage down or go up a wire up a wire size but this is eighth inch I'm gonna go down you can see how flat it is and I gotta work on my, my contact stick out a little bit because I got some soot getting in there and part of that is I got a hundred feet of, of argon and it's got to go through all this so I'm gonna hold the trigger down and try to purge some of that out next go round too rattly but check that bad boy out right there yes there's a lot of soot that's the nature of 5356 wire for all of you who are freaking out stop this is not 4043 5356 it has magnesium in it it soots a lot this gun is old it's crap and there's probably some argon leak somewhere I got to deal with but that right there that is aluminum MIG on the SA200 Y'all heard it bog down when I pulled the trigger and welded. Y'all saw it. No tricks. Like, look. Y'all saw it. This old rattle box did it. guys here's our vertical up and you can see it started kind of cold you can see it's cold and it got up there I adjusted my settings and it started wetting in better 
kind of brushed the soot off. It's not burning perfect, and I think that's a couple things. That 5356 likes to soot a lot. There may be a leak with the argon system. I gotta go through and check everything. And it might just be a symptom of constant current versus constant voltage, but this is good right here. That's vertical up right there. If you can control it vertical up, then you can do every single other position with this thing. With some fine tuning, I'm sure it'll work out great. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos and y'all have a good day.